Oy. Wait, let's make this go. Wait, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Pretty crystal clear, pretty crystal clear. It's been such a long time since I've, since I've like done a live stream. What's up, Kong Chen? What's going on, guys? The Phenomenal Phantom, what's up? TGTV? Let's get that uh, up here and pop in like that, shall we? Pop that over here. Cool. Um, what's going on, guys? What the hell is up? So I just wanted to just... Is, is my audio coming through clear? Is my, is my audio coming through clear? Everybody good? Everybody good? Um, I, I just wanted to say, uh, I haven't live streamed in a while. Just like, um, <laughs> shout out Vin and Sorry just because. Shout out to Vin and Sorry. I haven't come on here in a while. Come on here. In a <laughs> but I remember I used to always do like live streams um, and just saying what's up, touching base with you guys, connecting with the community. And I haven't done that in a while because I've been so fucking busy. So I wanted to come here and just kind of do like a live stream, answer some questions, um, see what's going on, just shout you guys out a little bit. Your FBI agent comrade, major shout out to you. Ramon, what's going on, guys? Uh, Lord Gotani, David Fieldman, Katie Park, what's up, guys? Everybody having a good day? Ryan Chidley. Uh, so yeah, when are you going to do more Metallica? I'm just going to start firing away because this is nothing but just a hangout. I'm going to live stream here for about an hour or so and then just, you know, say what's up to you guys. Uh, JX Anson, Jansen, uh, you're my favorite YouTuber. Dude, that's so awesome. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite Linkin Park song? When are you going to do more Metallica? More Metallica is coming very soon. Um, trust me, we're not done with that. Uh, my favorite Linkin Park song definitely depends on my mood. Um, but Numb is such a good one. It's hard to, hard to beat that. But they're all, there's so many top tier Linkin Park songs that are just unbelievably awesome. So, yeah. Why are your Kill em All vids so slow? Because, um, I'm just trying to get to everything. There's so much music out there and I'm trying to switch up the channel a little bit. Um, that's, that's a whole nother rabbit hole for later on down the stream whenever everyone starts going away and the real core Hef nerds stay because I got some stuff to spill about the channel and the future plans for it. Um, but that's coming up later. Um, Faith No More, you look just like my friend Bucky. <laughs> oh my god, I love you. I love you back. Let's see. Yeah, more Metallica says Katie. Definitely coming. Uh, music Tonight. Let's see. Coy Lewis, Machine Head, Beyond the Pale, or Ghosts Will Haunt You, Haunt My Bones. Coy, what's up, baby? How you doing, man? I appreciate the donation, dude. Ten bucks. Thank you. Only, I see a lot of OnlyFans comments. So, yeah, for some reason, I've been getting people that are like, yo, when are you, when's your OnlyFans starting? Are you starting an OnlyFans? And I'm like, where the fuck did this come from? God, no, I'm not starting an OnlyFans. Nobody would want to pay to see that. You kidding me? Funeral Moon 666, love your positive attitude to life. Thank you so much. It's a, it's a constant grind though, trust me. Don't let the internet fool you. You only see six to 10 minutes of me a day and it's easy to put on a face for that, but I struggle just like you guys. I'm, I struggle every single day. OnlyFan, what's, what's happening? Yeah, I mean, OnlyFans, people have been asking about it left and right. And I'm like, where the hell did that come from? Never gonna happen. Well, I guess never say never, but God bless. Are you going to check out the new Hailstorm, Back from the Dead? That would be, that would be awesome. I think that that's got to happen. OnlyFans is porn no more. Well, Patrick Hardy, they actually brought it back. At first, they were going to do like porn no more. And then they were like, actually, on second thought, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, your wife is smoking hot. We'd watch for her, says Shelby. <laughs> She's not my wife yet. She's almost my wife. Um... And I, I, she's very attractive. I am definitely punching above my weight with her. I don't know what I did to deserve that or to deserve her, but I, 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 it's been a blessing. Um, first time catching you live. Been a fan for three years now. Betty, thank you so much. I want to see your feet. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, wow. Have you ever played a rock band game before? Yes, I definitely have. I used to play the drums on rock band a lot. It was so much fun. Um, 
Love you. Good song to do means war. Okay. Well, he's coming in. Alex, I demand you love me. Christian, Baron, I love you. Much love. This better not be clickbait. Well, Bree, let me tell you, if you missed it, then um, people have been asking for OnlyFans, and I don't know where the hell that came from. And now Niles with the donation, man. Play a little piece of heaven at your wedding. <laughs> that would be awesome. How's my guitar playing going? Yeah, it's been sitting there. And let me tell you, let me tell you what I've been doing every day, okay? And this is why, and saying I don't have time is never a good excuse, okay? This channel got me through eighth grade bus rides with idiots. That's awesome. Um, what I do is I wake up in the morning, right? I drive an hour to work, right? Because I'm a lawyer, for those of y'all that don't know. So I go to work and I'm dr after I drive for an hour and I have my coffee and I work all day from 8.30 to 5.30, right? And then once 5.30 hits, I hop in the car and drive home, oftentimes more than an hour. And real quick, uh, Roger Borges, I love you, dude. Hope you're having a smashing day. Thank you so much for the donation, man. It's crazy. Um, so I, I drive back home and then immediately I, I eat something and then I hit the gym right? Because I've been working out trying to get right for my wedding. And then after I'm done with the gym, then I come back, I take a shower, and then I start recording videos. I, I shoot the videos for tomorrow, um, for the next day, and then I have to edit them. And then a lot of times I've been playing like Splitgate on my, on my um, Twitch channel. And by that time, it's like midnight and I wake up and do it all over again. And I got to prioritize videos. I got to prioritize working out. I got to go to work. And then I feel like I don't have any time to actually play guitar. Terrible excuse, but you know, it is what it is. Um, somebody wants me to check out Entwine featuring Brain Power. I see you. I see the comment. You're a lawyer? What kind of lawyer? Yeah, so I um, am an attorney. Um, Elon Musk smoking weed in the back. Hell yeah. Uh, I, I work for Daily and Black. And we are a first party insurance law firm. And you're thinking, what the hell does that mean? Well, this is what it is. Whenever you sustain damage to your home or your business, like from hail, uh, fire, flood, wind damage, anything, and you file a claim with your insurance company, over nine times out of 10, they're going to do two things. One of two things. They're going to underpay your claim, meaning if it's going to take $50,000 to fix your roof, they're going to give you ten. dollars or they're just gonna deny the claim altogether. And that's where we come in. We sue the insurance company when they underpay or deny a claim. We do that on a complete contingency basis, meaning we don't get paid unless the insurance company pays out and we win, and the client never has to pay anything to us. So that's what I do. So if anybody has an insurance claim out there with their insurance company and they're getting the short end of the stick or the insurance company's fucking y'all around, which they always do, um, give me a call. My, my lawyer number is on my Instagram. Love you, Alex. You're cool. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. Miguel, what the hell is going on? DJ Mike Franco, Patricia Tome, Rick, what's up guys? The Heel Synergy, Alan Thompson, Darcy. Love you, Alex. And congratulations on the wedding. Tyler, thanks brother. Um, wedding's coming up in October, October 27th. There's a new Dragon Force video coming out tomorrow. Oh, fuck. My boy Isaiah's playing Splitgate right now, dude. You're the man. Keep rocking. Alex sending hugs from Ecuador. Hell yeah, guys. Uh, wait, do you have a video reacting to the Beastie Boys? That's a great question. The answer is no. Um, love you, but don't want you as my lawyer. Interesting. I wonder why that is, Seth. Uh, let's see. Hopefully you never need a lawyer in the first place. But yeah. When are you going to react to more Slight Chance, Alex? <laughs> Slight Chance is my, like one of my best friends. Um, I don't know if you're joking or you, you didn't know that, but that dude is one of my best friends and he does the outros for all of my videos. So if you guys want, always, I always get questions where like, who does your outro? What song is that? I can't find it on Spotify. It's Slight Chance. After saying that about your job, you're even more of a superb dude. Hell yeah. Marcos, clickbait. Well, the, the clickbait is, is true, though. Um, people have been asking me to start an OnlyFans. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And you should see the sheer amount of comments. Absolutely in insane. 
Just nuts. Metallica or Slipknot? What a god awful question. Oh god. Slipknot. I, I don't know. Uh, I started with your reactions to Metallica and have been introduced to so many new bands thanks to you. Andrew, that's badass, man. That's part of the reason why I, I love our channel so much. I would love him as my lawyer if needed one. Darcy, I appreciate that. That's love right there. Um, maybe off topic, when I grow up, I'm moving to Houston, getting a slab, the exact one I described multiple times, and I'm a blast 50 cent <laughs> other rap song slash artist with my extreme subwoofer system. That sounds great. Start an OnlyFans, says Brad. Show your legs. Well, I'm wearing pants now. I got some polo PJs on, and I can't lift my legs up that high because I'm not flexible. Are you a high-profile lawyer? How do you end it with this? Um, high-profile lawyer, I work for a very well-established law firm. Um, and the, the way that I got that job, believe it or not, is from you guys, my YouTube channel. The very first thing that one of the partners, John Black, mentioned to me when he emailed me was, your YouTube videos are fire. That's what he said. And he was saying that my YouTube channel was great because what they were looking for was somebody to not necessarily practice law, like file lawsuits and do that whole thing, but more, more along the lines of bringing business in, being a rainmaker. Um, and he said that I could, you know, I've shown that I can put myself out there and get some sort of, sort of return in terms of marketing and stuff like that, which is a skill that a lot of lawyers don't know how to do. Um, and he wanted me to come on board and help them get cases. So that's what I've been doing. Um, now, do I think that I would have been able to get a job at Daily and Black as an actual lawyer, lawyer trying stuff and doing stuff that actual lawyers do? I don't think so because they're very well established, but I'm doing the marketing thing, the rain making thing. I'm bringing cases in and that, that's my job. Are you actually starting an OnlyFans? Um, no, I'm not. I don't plan to anyway. Uh, but what's going on with the OnlyFans? Y'all want to know. Uh, I, the, re the, the reason for the title on the OnlyFans is the amount of comments I've been getting in Instagram, Twitter, even emails saying, when's your OnlyFans coming out? We heard you're starting an OnlyFans. I'm like, what? Who the fuck started that? And I wanted to make this, this live stream to kind of hang out with you guys and say what's up and just talk some shit, and then also address that concern where it's like, no, by no means am I actually starting an OnlyFans. Jesus. Hi, Alex, I love your videos. Thank you so much. Charlie Adams, what's up? Please respond to more Leo, like Leo Maracchioli. Please make an OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, if so, what, what is your favorite rock band game of all time? I loved Guitar Hero. I think Guitar Hero 3 was one of my favorites, if that's the one with Slash on it. Um, that would, that like brings back some childhood memories. I didn't play too, too much, but I did play a good amount. Um, have you heard of any, have you heard any Alex Terrible covers in his channel? No, not really. I haven't actually. No OnlyFans, sadness intensifies. Um, oh, I missed this donation. Jesse M, thank you so much for the donation, man. Uh, hey, love your channel. It'd be epic if you could check out Heaven in Hiding by Eminence. Eminence is a great band. Thank you so much for the donation, Jesse. And you too, MK uh, Spartan. Hey, Alex, I'm watching from the hospital. I'm going through a very dark time and attempted suicide. Your channel gives me joy in life. Can you react to Citizen Soldier? Your choice. Well, let me take a picture of that. First of all, I'm so sorry that you're, you know, checking this out from the hospital. To try to commit suicide. I, I've, I've been there. I haven't ever tried to commit suicide, but I've definitely, you know, it's crossed my mind. And, and what I have to say to people that are, that are struggling with um, darkness of some sort and a spiraling depression, right, is what, what's worked for me, and this may or may not work for you, but I'm just going to say what worked for me is um, two things. It has been a perspective change. So realizing that like, I mean, look at this. I'm wearing different clothes than I wore yesterday, first and foremost. On my bed, one, two, three, four. Four pillows. What the fuck do I need four pillows for? I don't. That is, that's like the most first world type problem ever. Oh, I have four pillows, either it's whatever, whatever. Um, I got three blankets on my bed. I have sheets on my bed. I have shoes. I can see out of both of my eyes. I can hear from both my ears. I can walk. Um, 
I have food in my fridge. A perspective change like that gets it started for me. Um, just being thankful for all of those things. And then after that, what I do, what I like to try to do that I haven't really done in a while, but it's something that I try to practice each and every day is positive reinforcement. And that's every single time you have a negative thought. You realize that that's a negative thought, but then you reinforce it with three positives. So for instance, today's gonna fucking suck. It's like, I don't even know. I don't even know why, but it, today's gonna fucking blow. Realize, I'll be like, oh shit, that's a negative thought. Hold up, let me reinforce that. Um, and it's annoying and it sounds cheesy, but it, it truly works. And you say, that was a negative thought. Three positives. Today's a brand new day and it feels amazing outside. Two, uh, you know, I've never lived this day again and I'm gonna go make somebody's day. Three, today is an opportunity for me to make somebody happy. And real, that's three positive thoughts. Another example, it's raining, today's gonna fucking suck. Whoa, that's negative, hold up. Three positives. One, rain is fantastic for the plants. Two, rain sounds incredible. And three, the earth needs rain because it's so good for everything. It cleanses things. And you do that every single time you have a negative thought. It sound, it's taxing, trust me, it's fucking work. But what this does is it does two things for you. It One, it it shows you how many times a day you think of negative things, which people, we're people, right? We're biological people. We automatically think of negative things because we focus on the negative, it's what sticks out to us. So one, it's gonna show you how many times a day you think of negative, negative things, negativity. And two, after implementing this practice for a while, give it a week, give it a fucking day, give it 10 minutes. After you implement it for about a week, you will start to see the positive in everything. And somebody's gonna cut you off on the road. And rather than being like, you fucking idiot, scoundrel, bastard, I hope you pop a tire and spin off the road. Rather than reacting like that after someone cuts you off, you're gonna be like, oh gosh, I hope that they're okay. Like maybe they're on the way to, to the hospital because their kid's in the backseat. Like we, we don't know. Don't always assume the negative. Like, it, hey, today's awesome, man. That was great, I didn't get in a wreck, that was fantastic. This is great, it keeps me on my toes. He gave me the opportunity to pay more attention. He made me more alert on the road. That's fantastic. And you'll start to see the positive in everything. Um, that's my advice. Kelly Mag Magania, can you please react to a Mr. Red, White, and Blue co by Coffee Anderson? Not metal, but would like to see your action, re your reaction to this song because my boyfriend is a soldier. Haven't seen him since 2020. Kelly, much love to you, Kelly. Um, I just want to say you are awesome, um, and I, I, I will keep that, in, that reaction in mind, and I just want to say thank you so much for the donation and the love and support. I did just do a reaction to Avenged Sevenfold, um, Gunslinger, and that was about the military too. I would definitely check that out, Kelly, because I think that that's a, that's a good way to start. Um, Aiden Curiel, react to Tower of Pain by Fit for a King. How do you deal with hate comments on your videos coming from Metallica's opinions? Um, do you still have Snapchat? Yes, I do. Good advice, Alex. Thank you so much. Um, how do I deal with hate comments? I realize, and, and sometimes they get at me. Like, for instance, I, I, was, I did a reaction to the new Spider-Man trailer because it had 40 million views in one day. And I was like, holy shit, that's crazy. And I made the reaction and then I read, a, I woke up this morning. This is how I started my day. I woke up this morning. Let's see if I can actually find the comment. Let's see. Where's the Spider-Man reaction? <laughs> I woke up to this. I, I opened YouTube and I said, I read this. Nice. Jumping on the hype train here just for views because you clearly have nothing to do with Spider-Man. The MCU order anything else. Shame on you with your fake ass reaction. <laughs> and I, that's what I woke up to. That's how I started my day. And I literally immediately wanted to pl click reply and be like, hey, listen, you fucking idiot. You don't know anything about anything because I am the biggest fucking Spider-Man fan. I've loved Spider-Man since I was little. And two, who gives a fuck if I had never seen Spider-Man? Is, does that mean that new people can't come and watch this stuff for the first time? I can't just get into this. I can't make a reaction to this. And isn't that what all reactors do? Don't we all want views? We want to reach a broad audience to promote the positive message that we're pushing on you guys? No fucking shit. I wanted to slap that dude. But I was just like, let me 
calm down. I'm not going to start my morning with that. I'm just going to relax a bit. <laughs> I'm going to take it slow. And I'm going to realize that that dude's probably a fucking 11 year old who thinks he's cool talking shit, who thinks that I'm never going to read his comment. But that's something for you guys to know is that your comments do touch people. Whether you get a response or not, I read a fuck ton of comments. So haters going to hate, right? If you are not getting hated on, you are not doing something right. So that's that's kind of how I deal with hate comments is is by realizing that um I mean I got pretty thick skin at this point. That's what YouTube's done for me. One of the many things YouTube and you guys have done for me is help me develop a thick skin. Give us his name, Alex. <laughs> uh oh, if they don't know who you are then especially yeah, yeah. Um so yeah, and, and it's been problematic for Sarah, my fiance, because we've done reactions before um, and there's been a lot of people and I think that these are just some scumbag fucking douchebags who could never get an attractive girl or who have been turned down by attractive women before and they take it out on an attractive person or people that just like to talk shit. And they, they mentioned Sarah in, in um, comments and it eats at her and she'll read the comments that in the videos that she's involved in and she'll dwell on those negative comments because she's got very thin skin um and i try to tell her i try to talk to her through that but it ends up being more detrimental than anything that's why she hasn't been in too many of the videos she's going to be in some more coming up but just know that your words carry weight um and as people we go through a sea of positive comments and we focus on the negative because that's just biological nature right um, let's see. Is this an LGBTQ friendly channel? Of course. I don't care who you love. I don't care your sexual orientation. I don't care your, I don't care about your race, your creed, your gender, your orientation. I, I don't, I could give a fuck about that. We are coming here as people that love music. Okay, that's the common denominator between- I don't care if you're a black person, I don't care if you're Chinese, I don't care if you're gay, if you're straight. I don't- I don't care about that. I care what music you listen to. <laughs> I'll judge you on the music you listen to. Uh, no, in all seriousness, of course. I mean, half nerds, baby, we are friendly. We're all around the world. We are a family, man. Why is modern music so bad in your opinion? I wouldn't even agree with that. I would not say modern music's bad. I'd say that music is always developing um, and always changing and people aren't used to that. Um, there's definitely some bullshit music out there, but I don't think music's dead or I don't think music is all bad nowadays. We're on a coffee table with flying Vs. <laughs> what? That's weird. It's awesome though. I don't know what that meant. Um... Why wasn't I told about this live? Brody, I don't know. And that's something that y'all can do because our views have been going down. They've been going down tremendously. And it's been eating at me, to be quite honest. I've been like, what the fuck do we do? Um, but I think YouTube is a little fishy with notifications. Um, so, you know, if you guys are had that notification bell clicked, that'd be awesome. If you do already and you're still not getting notifications, then um, maybe unclick the notification bell and then re-click it. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, found your channel and went down a Chester rabbit hole with you. Erica, that's so awesome. That's awesome. What's up, Alex? Love your video. Thank you, Justin. What's up, guys? Filthy, feisty, and fabulous. YouTube algorithms suck. Yeah, I know. Um, really does. Alex, what's your Twitter? It's Tyler. It's Alex underscore Hefner, man. Wondering if you could react to Vandevoid, please. Um, any new tattoos planned, asked by Robert. I was actually supposed to get a tattoo right here and like finish the sleeve um, a couple months ago, but with the, the wedding expenses coming up, um, it's been fucking crazy. Sarah and I are getting married in Hawaii, okay? And uh, I feel like I've been trying to leverage every possible form of income in my life, trying to be like, I can make money this way and this way and this way and this way and do that. Um, hence some of those raid shadow of legends reaction like reactions i know that raid stuff like that and i i do play raid you know i've played it before and it's a great game um i don't play games too much but when i do raids one of them this is up or it turns into a damn sponsorship but you know point being the the weddings wedding payments have been very stressful so that kind of took my tattoo money um away 
and I'm still trying to invest in stuff and everything. So I recall when YouTube actually let you find what you were looking for. I know, right? And it, it's just crazy. Have you ever done a zebra reaction? I don't know what that means. Hawaii, wow, gonna be beautiful. I know y'all want me to live stream the, the uh, wedding, pop a phone up there and just let, even if it's a weird shot, just let it go and let it run, let y'all be a part of it. Mark asked if we've set a date. Yeah, it's October 27th. So originally we were gonna get married October 20th, 2020. And then we had to push it back because of COVID to May 15th. Um, and then we had to push it back again to October 27th. So we, this is the third time like, I should have been married twice by now, but we're pushing it back because of COVID. Um, so uh, Zebra, the, the band, Alex says, Brody. No, I haven't checked them out yet. Uh, Metallica Opinions, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have an older sister. Um, she's great. Her name's Chelsea. Could you please react to Brimstone by Whitechapel? Whitechapel is a band that I definitely need to come back and check out for sure. Congrats, Alex. Thanks, guys. Do you smoke fat blunts? Uh, definitely have. Definitely have. Uh, let's see. Have you reacted to Guar? No, I haven't. I laugh my ass. I'm getting married on my birthday. That's badass, man. Fat dabs. Um... <laughs> uh, have you heard Tala? Their drummer is Mike Portnoy's son. Oh, wow. No, I haven't. And who's Mike Portnoy? I saw that name recently, and I could easily look it up, but I trust y'all more than the damn interweb. How's the law stuff going? Great, Miguel. Law's going great. Getting more cases at work, and, you know, that's what I'm doing. Um, again, if y'all have any uh, insurance claims and the insurance company underpaid you or denied you, reach out to me. My phone number, my work phone number is on my Instagram. And if y'all, we also do personal injury. So if y'all had any personal injury matters and you wanted my law firm to represent you, kick-ass law firm. Don't worry, I'm not going to be the goofy-ass guy representing you. Or we have a personal injury lawyer, Andrew Dow, one of the best in the country. Unbelievably intelligent guy. So, um, Check out the warning. Where did you get the Edgar Allan Poe poster for a year, Four Years Strong, Song of Your Choice? Oh, is that a, that's a song? Dream Theater. Did they drop a song? Did Dream Theater drop a song? Oh, Mark, Mike Portnoy, that's what everyone's saying, was founder and original drummer of Dream Theater. Got you. LJO, he said, I love you, Alex. Love you back. My better half asked about those bars of soap. I told her it was four word is F. Huh. We'll definitely reach out if it applies. Hell yeah. Slipknot's no life. My Chemical Romance reaction's coming? Definitely so. And guys, we are dangerously close to 700,000 subscribers. I feel like we should be over a million by now, but that's the damn algorithm and all bullshit going aside and stuff. Um, but yeah, share, the, share any of the videos, any of the reactions, your favorite reactions, share them with a friend or a family member. Um, that would tremendously help because we are, I think, 692,000 subscribers. Where's your dog? He's outside. If you could be a fictional character, who would you be? I would be Blackheart from the Ghost Rider. That would be badass. How's your girl, Alex? Josh, what's up, man? She's good, brother. Dude, I've been obsessed with Bring Me the Horizon lately. That's a fantastic band. I fucking love Bring Me the Horizon. Are you a fan of Breaking Bad? It's like one of my... It's, I think it is my favorite show of all time. I've watched Breaking Bad like nine times all the way through do you think we'll see andrew and toby in the new spider-man movie i really do i really do think that where are you from i'm from houston texas what kind of amp are you playing with i'm not even playing with an amp to be honest i know that that's fucked up uh hugs to ozzy yeah of course who was there whenever we first got ozzy whenever we first adopted ozzy were y'all there for that Please do Fat Lip by Sum 41, Alex. Hey, I've already done that. Go check it out. There's that damn YouTube algorithm not letting people know. I've already done uh, Fat Lip. 700K, I could have sworn this was at a couple mil by now. I know, right? Brody, I know. Are you a fan of Lost? I haven't seen Lost. Breaking Bad was awesome. Love how it ended. Darcy, I completely agree. It was one of the shows that ended at the perfect time. And it was just great. It was a fantastic show. 
What's your favorite Tarantino movie? That's great. That's a good question. Um, Pulp Fiction. Kill Bill's very close. Uh, how old are you, dude? I'm 27. Seen a message to my best friend telling him to watch your stream. Hey, I appreciate that, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Awesome. What's your favorite Tarantino movie? Just answered that. Are you excited for the new Slipknot album? Fuck yes. Do you bass with finger or pick? I would probably pick my fingers and do some slap bass. But I Better Call Saul. I checked it out for a little bit, but uh, had never, haven't finished it yet. Tiger S three seven K ten dollar donation, dude. Thank you so much, man. Alex, your videos keep me up at night a lot. You're amazing what you do, and your reactions are priceless. You should do some more Shine Down and Breaking Benjamin. Amazing bands. Love you, man. Dude, thank you so much. I appreciate that donation a lot, and I appreciate your comment, brother. Thank you so much for the love and support. Alex, I'm going to be right back, and I'll watch your Sum 41 video. Hey, you make sure you like it and comment on it. Do that. Share it. Share it. Let's get to 700,000. Bring me the Horizon or Architects. Bring me the Horizon. Which one of Trivium's new singles do you like the best? I don't even remember the song titles, but Trivium's been on fucking point. I love Trivium. They've been on point for such a long time, man. It's been great. Can you do more corn? Most definitely I can do some more corn. That'd be great. How do I send you money, by the way? I have a lot saved for you, says Tyler. Oh, gosh. I don't even really know on there. Guys, help them out. I think there's like a dollar sign down below in the chat or something you can click on. Not positive, though. You keep your money. You don't spend it on me. I like it in comment. Okay, hell yeah. I'll like it in comment. That's what I'm talking about. What's your favorite type of music? Fucking heavy metal, goddammit. Let's go. Is that even a question at this point? I know you did Broken by Seether featuring Amy Lee, but it's blocked in the US. It's sad. Yeah, I mean, YouTube's been a fucking bitch. I'm going to see Metallica for free and sweet. That's awesome. Are you going to see Ginger this year? They'll be in the Houston area. I would love to. I did a video with Eugene, the bass player of, of Ginger, and that was a lot of fun. Um, so I'd love to see him live. That'd be great. It's hard to watch legal shows when you are, are actually a lawyer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? 50 Feisty and Fabulous. Is that, uh, is that Michelle? Um, can you check out the new Rivers of Nile track, especially if you've never heard of them? Yeah, for sure. That'd be great. some point. Got to add that to the queue. System of a Down or Metallica? Fuck, that's tough. Probably Metallica, but not by much. I bet an increase in subscribers would correlate with an increase in 80s metal reactions. You think so? Well, that's funny that you say that because tomorrow you'll be in for a surprise. You'll be in for a surprise. Awesome you are doing lives. Never knew you did that. Yeah, Lauren, for sure. I used to do this a lot whenever we were first like blowing up. Blowing up. Um, and I've just been so busy that I have, I have like lost touch. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I haven't even hung out with the people that made the channel what it is, which is you guys. So thank you so much, first and foremost, for giving me this awesome opportunity with YouTube. I really do appreciate that. Um, do you know any Spanish, bro? No habla español muy bueno, bien, eh, un poco, pero uh, no hablo muy bien. Um, en escuela tengo um, seis, siete años de español, pero no hablo, no hablo. Yes, this is Michelle. Michelle, what's up? What's your favorite metal subgenre? That's such a good question, and it really depends on my mood. Favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers album? Stadium Arcadium. It's got to be Stadium Arcadium. Got to be. Love your videos, dude. You're amazing. Greetings from Costa Rica. I really enjoy the channel. Michael, thank you so much. Major Love Scott, shout out to you. Metallica Opinion, shout out to you. Bill Brasky, shout out to you. Dino, shout out to you guys. Uh, Suburman, will you react to more Juice World? Did y'all like that? Metalhead reacts to Juice World? I like that. 
Bring Me the Horizon House of Wolves is hitting so hard right now. I've reacted to that. Go check it out. Like, subscribe, comment, and share that video. Let's get to 700,000, baby. Just enough to stay out of conversation. Stay out of a conversation, I see. Yeah, seriously. Um, Ginger, December 7th in Houston. I'm there. I'm fucking there. Uh, who would come and meet me if I were to go to the Ginger show? I love Stadium Arcadium, too. It's a fantastic album. Uh, Spawn Killer, can you do more Architects and Alice in Chains? Yeah, I was about to do an Alice in Chains. It's going to be coming up. Thank you so much for the donation, man. Polyphia. 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 Uh, have you listened to much Polyphia? I've done a song or two. Go check the reaction out. Make sure to share it. Let's get to 700,000. Favorite Eminem album. It's really tough to pick my favorite album because it really does depend on my mood. Hey, Alex, love your reactions. I have a song request in memory of my girlfriend who died three and a half years, weeks ago. Weeks ago. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Fuck. More than a memory by Lee Bryce. Send me an email, alex.hefner at yahoo.com. Um, can you do more Breaking Benjamin? You got to check out Breath. That'd be great. So do you know Wet Sand? Of course I know Wet Sand. It's one of the tracks that I don't listen to too much on on um, on that album, though. But it is a good song. I believe, if I if remember correctly, I think that's Flea's favorite song. Um, I know it's talking about Spanish. I know uh, some lyrics. Dímelo por qué está fuera de mí. El mismo tiempo estás muy dentro. Alex, I'm back. Just watch your fat lip reaction. That was quick. You're crazy, dude. See ya. See you guys. Take care. Where's the bluegrass music at? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't even touched into that. Trucking ain't easy, baby. Brody, what's up, baby? Trivium or motionless and white? <sighs> I hate that question. That is such a bad question. Um, do you like Alex? If you love Tom McDonald, you will love the guys and gals I've recommended. Awesome. I think Tom McDonald's coming out with a new song tomorrow, actually. I loved your Ice Nine Kills reaction. Thank you so much. Tyler Lee, I'd visit you. Master of Puppets or Ride the Lightning? Ride the lightning. Take care, dude. One of the most wholesome out there. I appreciate you, Alan. Much love, man. All right, guys. When we get to 45 minutes, which is going to be about seven minutes, I'm going to switch over to uh, streaming on Twitch. And I'm going to be doing um, playing some Splitgate. So if you guys want to stop by, um, let me put my Twitch in. Oh, sign into chat. What the hell? Ah. You can just look me up on Twitch. I'll be there. Uh, Rogelio Roman. Track to Bubbles Erotica. Great local Chicago band. I haven't even been to Chicago. Do you hate Nickelback? I actually don't. I've been through dancing in line. The clubs will never get in. It's like the bottom of the ninth and I'm never gonna win when I'm buying everything. Again, apples and oranges, Trivium versus Motionless and White. It really is. That's such a hard question. Where do you go to school? Where did you go to school? I went to UT, Austin, and then I went to South Texas College of Law for law school. Do you have any plans for new Rammstein reactions? Yeah, absolutely. Reaper, uh, greetings from Germany. I actually did one where uh, they like had like a fake dick on stage and was spraying it all over the place, and YouTube like. Definitely did not recommend people to watch that, but it's on my channel. It's pretty recent, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. We love you, Alex, or we'd be dead. <laughs> love you, Alex. Love you too, Katie Park. Love you back. I don't understand why people hate on Nickelback so much. Because they're so well-known. It's the same with uh, Avenged Sevenfold. Well, though Nickelback gets way more hate, but Avenged Sevenfold, people fucking hate on them too. Um, just because they're so well-known. It's nuts. 
Shout out, Austin Knight. Hell yeah, Donnie, what's up, baby? Let's go. Have you ever reacted to Prince, or are you only rock? No, I, I haven't reacted to Prince, but I'll, I'll check that out. And to be honest, I couldn't name one Prince song. Wait, I could. Uh, controversy, I think. Is your job cool with tattoos? I have a bunch of tattoos and piercings, but I've been holding back because of my job. But I don't think I care anymore. So glad I found you searching for motionless and white bits. Hey, Ruby Jinx, thank you so much for the donation. And that's a great question, because as a lawyer, a lot of people, my mom included, were like, don't get a tattoo sleeve because nobody will hire you. And there's some truth to that, because my very first job out of law school, um, they, were, they made me wear long sleeves all the time. They're like, you are not going to show those tattoos. And then for Daily and Black, the firm that I work at right now, they wanted me on board so bad. They were just like, um, all right, I don't know if they wanted me on board, but they're cool with it. They were like, yeah, if you're coming into the office, you don't have to wear a suit. You'll be way overdressed. Don't cover up your tattoos. Wear shorts, wear short sleeves, wear whatever the hell you want. So I think it depends on who, where you're working. I think that's the, the main cause of it. your favorite metallica song i just that's just a question i can't even answer i'm not even comfortable answering that question that's crazy hey i'm going to ut austin as well napkins hell yeah that's what i'm talking about ice nine kills or slipknot slipknot um i've never heard uh, of any hate on avenge sevenfold seriously i hear a ton of hate about avenge sevenfold have you seen slipknot live Sandra, I actually have. And if you go to my channel and type in Alex Hefner Not Fest, I vlog the experience where Clown's son, Simon Crahan, found me in the crowd and took me and my buddies backstage. And you guys get to see the concert from side stage because I, um, I filmed it. So go type in Alex Hefner Not Fest and you will love the video. I think on that in that concert, um, Volbeat was there, which I didn't see because I was backstage. Gojira was there, which put on an awesome show. And so was... Uh, um, fuck behemoth just don't get hand tat still taboo well I would like a hand tat but like maybe right here eventually I don't know I'd have to like make partner at work I work in education and no one has ever said anything about my tattoos I think the discrimination against tattoos is mostly a thing of the past yeah I'd say so I'd say it's definitely getting there there's still some old school folks though that really don't like it have you seen Yo-Yo, a nine-year-old guitarist? No, I haven't. Nuts. Can you please react to Devil Driver, Meet the Wretched? Wretched. Hey, Juliana Martinez. Alex, love your reactions and wanted to support you in some way, so I hope this helps a bit. Juliana, thank you so much. That's so awesome. I really appreciate that. That means the world to me. See how supportive you guys are? It's fucking great. Kylan says, Alex, I'm going to send that fat lip video to my dad. We used to sit in his car and blast it. He'll love it. I appreciate that. And that's what I need. That's the share in these videos, man. That's what will really get this channel blasted out and get us over a million subscribers because that's what we need to do. Nick B, I love your content, Alex. I was wondering if sometime you'd react to goth music. Wow, dark wave, post-punk, death rock yeah for sure nick let me take a picture of that that'd be fantastic clickbait alex hefner's first time hearing goth music what's your twitch channel alex hefner my twitch channel is just alex hefner just type it in and you'll find it uh, I'm, I'm about to be on twitch here in a little bit actually yes 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 and horror punk october is the best time for him to do that i'm a bit veterinarian most clients like them but i had a job get upset about one of my face piercings yeah i mean people i, I could give a fuck about that but people still do get upset um what's the song that you reacted to and hated um i really it took me a while to get on board with In infinite annihilator i really hated that stuff for a while to be quite frank not hated it that's such a strong word i just i just wouldn't listen to it Favorite song off Iowa? Fuck. I don't even know. Any relations to Hugh? I wish. That'd be awesome. I probably wouldn't be here right now. Gonna follow you on Twitch, says Darcy. Thank you, guys. I'm about to go play some Splitgate, too. So if you guys want to just continue hanging out, um, I'm about to be playing Splitgate for a while. So that would be pretty fun. What's up, Tasha? 
How's it going? Kill switch engage reaction coming fucking soon. And I actually going to give y'all some exclusive content since you guys are here in the stream right now. Um, Reactor purple rain live version print solo guitar playing is amazing. That's a great suggestion. Um. Tomorrow's reaction, Def Leppard. Gonna give y'all that exclusive content. Can y'all guess what song it is? I already reacted to Pour Some Sugar On Me, but it is their next most well-known song. Will you react to Judas Priest in the future? Of course. What is Splitgate ZFG done? Well, Splitgate is a new game. It's still in the um, beta version. And the guys that made it absolutely loved Halo. So it's like a new age Halo with like portals and stuff. It's really fun. I, I enjoy it a lot. Um, have you ready to Blink-182? Kylan, I have. Go check it out. Go check out Blink-182. See, you, Kylan, go put on your post notifications, my guy. Y'all all right now, if you, are, if you have not clicked the bell on the channel, just hit that bell because it notifies you every single time that I upload. Um, Please don't do Let's Get Rocked. Oh, y'all are guessing the song. Um, do you play Warzone? My buddy from work, Alex Kobe, has been trying to get me to do that. Play Warzone. Trivium is live on Twitch. That's badass. Let's see what reaction I did because I, I already forgot the name of it, honestly. Oh, Hysteria. That's the, that's the reaction for tomorrow is Hysteria by Def Leppard. I really would, I really will you react to more of the Grey Days album. For sure, Dark Lord, but I, I've reacted to them, but I need to react to more. But go check that reaction out and share it. Let's get to 700,000, baby. Come on, that's the goal. I'd pay for your OF stud. What does that mean? Bye, Alex. I gotta go. LJO, much love. What tips do you have for someone wanting to start a reaction channel? Good question. Put out content. Put it the fuck out. Make sure if you're watching it that you are not bored. If you're bored watching your own video, it's not good. And let go of your ego. Be willing to upload a video that gets six views for a very, very long time. And try to find a niche like I did. Hip Hop Head reacts to metal. Try to find a niche. That sticks out much more than just another reactor right only fan oh only fans <laughs> you'd pay for my only fans i appreciate that do you have your favorite tattoo yeah i do it this is my favorite tattoo the lady tiger morph y'all see that y'all peep that same guy that did my andre 3000 portrait Yo mama gave me a dollar. Why is your chat delayed? I've been wondering this the whole time. Chat's just delayed. It really is. Because I'm going, also going through Streamlabs. That's probably it. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing badly. Facts. Appreciate the tips. Always. When you're going to get to the Gemini Syndrome. I need to get back to them because I've done them for a while, but not, not in a long time. Wow, beautiful tat. Darcy, thank you so much. Are you consider react some Eurovision songs? Uh, Gabriel, I've reacted to two Eurovision songs very recently. Go check them out. Just type in Alex Hefner Eurovision on YouTube. Go check the video out. Like and subscribe it. Share it. Let's get to 700K. Just check out for size or Jupiter. All right, guys. I'm going to... What's your favorite Outcast album? Aquemini. And song? Aquemini. What's your favorite YouTube channel to watch? Um... Probably David Dobrik, honestly. I know that's weird, but... Anyway, I just wanted to stop by, say what's up to you guys, hang out for about an hour. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you guys have ever done for me. If I've caused you any bit of happiness, I just want to say that's awesome. I want to say hit that subscribe button on the channel, throw a like up on a video, share any of these videos, just one of them. Pick your favorite video of mine and share it with somebody who's never seen me before. And then grab their phone and subscribe to the channel. 
Hi Alex, useful tip. If you want more views, you should often react to Brazilian artists. We love foreign YouTubers reacting to our culture a lot. Vinicius, I appreciate that. Thank you, Brazilian artist. That's a very good, that's a very good tip. Um, but I love you guys. Share one video with somebody that doesn't know the channel. And we're going to get to 700,000 very soon. And then 800 and then 900,000 and then a million. And we can celebrate. And I will give you guys giveaways. And I just, want, But more so than anything, I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done for me up to this point. It's truly awesome that we have this massive community. And I love y'all more than anything. Please don't forget it. I'm going to say the outro. A lot of people just click off the videos by the time the outro comes. But it really does mean stuff. Keep smiling. That's so real. So real. Keep smiling. It feels good. Keep being yourself. Don't let anybody talk you out of being yourself. Don't let them give you shit for it. You're going to be yourself. You're going to do the things you want to do. You're going to like the things you want to like. You're going to listen to the things you want to listen to. Do you do crypto? Yeah, I do. Dogecoin, baby. Whoop, whoop. Safe moon. Buy safe moon. Um, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. It's not worth it. Don't give somebody that much power over your emotions. I will see you guys tomorrow. It's a motherfucking fact. Hysteria by Def Leppard. Y'all all better be there. Drop in comments that you were in the live stream from, lat from today. Okay, I better see y'all down in those comments for tomorrow's reaction. I love y'all. Please hit the subscribe button. Please, please, please more than anything, hit that notification bell. And if you already have hit it, unclick it and click it again just to make sure that YouTube bullshit algorithm gets it. I love y'all more than anything. Sending you so much love and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.